Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Johannesburg, South Africa. I'm Lee Berger from the University of the Witwatersrand and Explore at Large for National Geographic. And this is another 105 Expedition update. Today, we're going to do something a little bit differently. I'm going to turn over the update to some of the other work that's going on. You've been seeing lots of fossil preparation, lots of exciting hominids coming out, a little bit of exploring the cave. Today, we're going to look at the first beginnings of doing the photogrammetry or mapping. And I'm going to turn that over to Kanelwe. Take it away, Kanelwe. Hey there, my name is Kanelwe, and I'm at Rising Star today. And our mission today is to work on the photogrammetry for the 105 uh, chamber. So that's going to be pretty good. We'll be taking a whole lot of photos and getting acquainted with how to um, map the area using photogrammetry. And we'll also be playing around with the total station learning how that works and how we can incorporate that into creating a very accurate photogrammic map of 105, UW 105. So it's going to be a long day, but super fun. And I won't be alone. I'll have a couple of mates with me. Um, so let's do this. The team was to get together and develop a plan for the day. And this involved a long discussion on understanding what photogrammetry is, what it involves, and the software that we'll be using. We then looked into the type of problems that we might encounter in the cave, and we identified as lighting or finding a suitable light source would be one of the biggest problems that we'd have in the 105 chamber. And so we thought that we'd need additional lights to come with us as we carry out this exercise, and a power source would be needed to generate uh, power to the light sources that we'll be using. And in addition to the photogrammetry, we decided that we'd try use a total station or incorporate the use of a total station uh, to help us to create a more accurate photogrammic model. So the total station would help us in incorporating the coordinates that would be generated using this device uh, into the photogrammic model. <laughs> We've got Paloma and Tumi yeah. making their way. So we're at the entrance of 105. Um, and everything's like pretty green and shaded today. And there's our little entrance way. Tumi, yeah. tell me, what are we doing today? Mm, doing the photogrammetry of the 105. And we're testing if it's going to be possible to do most of the things in a, the, actually the whole area. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Nice. So that's our game plan for today. And mm -hmm. uh, let's go. Mm. Huh? So we are yeah. in See? the 105 chamber with Paloma and Tumi. Yeah. And we're just checking out the walls deciding which areas in which it is that we want to start our photogrammetry exercise but also just take a look darkness absolute darkness with light at the end of the tunnel dark 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 and that is the situation in the cave when I mean, we don't have our lights on but nice. mm -hmm. and uh there's my airplane coming through I don't know where he's been. And that's the way. Yeah. Look kind of. See where my range is? Yes. Take care not to fall into the sinkhole. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Where is the cable? Can you see it? Right. 
You can. Yeah. Can you see the cable? No, I can't. They've got super eyes, bro. Where? They're, 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 they're interesting. Let's go near it. Oh, I see it now. Yeah. Okay. So, yes, we're now in 105 in the main chamber. I'm just going to put my bag down. Um, and this is the area that we're going to try work in to try record uh, and get as much map planning done today um, as possible and of course it's super super dark at the moment so I'm gonna put on some lights and we have the generator set up outside um, so we can draw in more lights for us to check out through that skylight over yeah. there is where the cabling and additional lights will come through um, to illuminate this cavern or this chamber um, so we can start planning so we are in the 105 chamber right now and I'm going to show you now what um, we're doing basically what we're doing is we're taking photographs of the chamber and we're gonna use photogrammetry as a technique to map the chamber that we're in at the moment. Um, so basically photogrammetry is about taking photos and overlaying them, like multiple photographs, and overlaying them on top of one another in order to produce a 3D image or 3D model of whatever it is that you're photographing. So we've been quite ambitious now in trying to record this entire chamber. <laughs> it, it's pretty cool. Um, so at the moment I'm standing just above the skylight area here um, and I'm going to show you what the kids are doing um, ahead of me. So there you have Tumi and Paloma. Um, can't see them from this angle. If I move over. Mm -hmm. um, Can you the skylight over there? Yes. And then before we finish, when the next thing we will do, we will shoot the, the, the ceiling. Between myself and Paloma, we took approximately 1,000 images of the cave today. So that's a lot of data that this uh, software has to process. We might be here for a while. And while that's running, I think we can call it a day and head out into the weekend. We did quite a bit of work today. Um, and I'm actually quite excited to see how our test models turn out. And hopefully next week we can go in and refine our photogrammetry skills, as well as start to incorporate the total station stuff that we practiced earlier this morning. And with that, I will see you guys next week. Bye!
Well, that's all for today. Another exciting update from the 105 Expedition. I'm Lee Berger. Uh, you can follow this expedition on the Fossil Vault YouTube channel right here where you're watching this or on my and other scientists' social media pages as the project grows and grows. Keep following us. Goodbye for now and keep washing those hands.